Hey guys, I Dave Moore here. Just wanted to make a video again um, on a few things actually. Number one, I recently won a giveaway by One Shot Industries and I got some badass t shirts. This is one of them. 556, as you can see, has One Shot Industries right there. And it's one of the only t shirts I've seen that has the Velcro for a morale patch. So that's awesome. This is a large, fits really good. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure what, what these shirts retail for. I want them, but they're awesome. I mean, they're good quality, they fit nice, they look good. I mean, it's just a good quality shirt. And I want you guys to go check them out, One Shot Industries on Instagram. I believe it's oneshotindustries.com for their website. The other shirt I got, let me grab it real quick, is this one right here. You see, One Shot Industries. Hopefully you can see that at least. And, uh, I mean, as you can tell, it's a pretty good heavyweight cotton, but it's stretchy, it fits real good, it feels real nice, and uh, it's all gun related. They're a gun uh, apparel place and uh, one shot industry. So, check them out, buy some shirts. Awesome. They actually have a lot of really cool little videos on their um, uh, page, also. So, I mean, you know, they're kind of funny, so check them out. One Shot Industries, I just want to give them a shout out for the good quality shirts and uh, I want to thank them again for basically letting me have them for free. So OneShotIndustries.com I believe or at OneShotIndustries. Um, number two is a new little product I got that I just put together. Now before I say anything, so let me tell you, I am not a medical professional. I am not really even trained in it, I've taken first aid CPR, but other than that, I have no medical training. Now, I have a medical kit that I'm going to show you. It is a bleeder blowout kit. Two of the things that are in it, I am not trained to use, but if somebody that's there is trained to use them, I have them available. Because believe it or not, I have a lot of friends who are medics and none of them carry stuff. So it's better to have stuff than not have it. So that brings me to what I'm talking about here. That is this. This is the HSGI High Speed Gear International Bleeder Blowout Kit. Just this pouch, okay? Bleeder Blowout Kit. And it is designed for easy, simple, or to be easy, simple, and just small. It is just for your basic kit. You can only fit so much in here. Good part of it is right here on this top part, you got a little uh, hole thing and your shears come out. So it does have that compartment for shears. Now you could obviously put something else back there if you wanted. That's up to you, but it's made for shears. I got shears in it because you gotta have to cut a t-shirt off, whatever. And it just buckles with that little button there. Now the cat tourniquet, this pouch I added. The HSGI is only this pouch. But it is uh, real good so far. I mean, obviously, it's a quality of HSGI and it's about $35. So it's affordable and it's well worth it. What I'm going to do now is move you up close and we will see what I have inside of it. All right, guys, so here it is the HSGI blowout kit. Obviously, you can see nice small frame. That's my hand right there. And now it is designed just to be easily used. So you unbuckle it, it pops open. Now, I have this Velcro here to keep it from marring up my gloves and the gauze that's in there, but you don't have to have that there. Now, right here, I have my blood type, because being in the hospital, I finally found out what my, my blood type is. So I figured I'd buy some little morale patches, if you want to call them morale patches, and have them applied to my major carry bags and such. So obviously, on this kit, I have the B positive. Now. If you're getting a blood transfusion, they're going to ch check your blood type beforehand. But, like I said, rather be safe than sorry. So, straighten that out, actually. There you go. So, bl blood type's on there. And as you can see, this is Velcro. You can have it with Velcro closure. There is also, right back here, see, that gauze gets caught on it, but you can cover the velcro up and that's why I have the velcro covered because of that gauze which I should probably put in a bag anyway but 
basically, let me pack it back up. That's the kit. Pop it open, and it is designed to deploy quickly. So you pull this cord, and this spills out your med kit. So you can do that with one hand, and that's how it's designed. Israeli bandage, you guys know what those are. Nasopharyngeal tube, this is one item I'm not trained to use, but I have it if needed. Chest needle, one other thing that I'm not trained to use, but I have it if needed. Rubber gloves, obviously and gauze, obviously. And that's it. That's all that will really fit in it. It's all you, I really need for that. And to pack it up, pretty much, just get everything re-squared away how you have it. Get my bandage back up and going. And you have to push it against the strap and kind of really finagle it in there. All right. So you get it in, push it all the way down until it seats in the bottom, that way you know it's all the way down there. And you can go ahead and add your other accoutrements, like the gauze. You can take your gloves, I don't know if there's a certain way to fold these, but I'm just going to do it like this, get the air out of them. Ball them up, get them in a nice spot there, looks good. As, as I said, I have that Velcro covered up um, because it is, it is rough, so it is going to tear up your gauze or your gloves. Have this nub readily accessible, actually, re-tuck this Velcro piece cover back in there as you can see there's not a whole lot of room to work with here but once you get it packed up you're good to go all right got that back in there let's redo all these steps again for you I'm getting a good a good training exercise on packing these. And the chest needle I had just kind of pushed down in there on the side. So there it is. Rebuckled and good to go. Sorry that I kind of had to finagle with that a little bit, but that's it. As you can tell, it is a good, small, affordable, and very, very useful med kit. Like I said, I'm not using the Velcro, so you pop the buckle, flicks open, grab and pull. And uh, it's it's a real good design in my opinion, especially if you have to use it on yourself and you're doing it one-handed. And that's I mean, that's what it's made for. And uh, speaking of one-handed, I have the cat tourniquet, which is also a one-handed tourniquet that you can use. Pop that open, pull it out. You can see you got, got the windlass on there. You have your time slot and that's why you want to keep a marker in there so as you can denote the time when you use this tourniquet maybe important maybe not but I was told that is a good idea so I went ahead and put the marker in there because most people know more than me about this figured I'd listen to him you know so I got this marker tucked right there got tourniquet Closes up just like that. It's good to go. And that is my kit. All right, guys, so that is my bleeder kit, um, my personal bleeder kit that I'm going to now carry in my car, on my bag, and to the range, obviously. Um, it's uh, I like it so far, really. I mean, it's a perfect size. And I'm going to actually take a little medical course at Crucible Defense out of Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, on the 29th. I'm taking a handgun uh, class, a pistol class, and there is a little medical portion. He's a former Marine, and uh, he's got, got a lot of knowledge to share, so I'm going to go and try to absorb some of his knowledge. The other things I want to talk about was some coupon codes. As you know, I rep for Squared Away Surplus. I'm part of their sales and marketing team, and the coupon code that I was given for that to give you guys 
is iDave Moore. I D A V M O O R E. And that gets you 25% off your order. So whether you order AR500, Grunsfeld, Condor, Ranger Up, anything, you get 25% off. And that's a big savings. You can't really find that anywhere else. So I Dave Moore for 25% off. The other thing that I've talked about before, talked about their products, is Brown Coat Tactical. As you know from my shotgun videos, I use the Brown Coat Tactical shell carriers. Use the Brown Coat Tactical shell carriers and stand by. They gave me a coupon code to share with you guys. Coupon code for Brown Coat Tactical, www.browncoattactical.com, is I Dave Moore, and that'll get you 10% off. So, I Dave Moore for 10% off Brown Coat Tactical. Go pick up some shell carriers, pick up one of their awesome EDC belts. This one here is Cryptek Typhon, but EDC belt is a Raptor style buckle, which is rated to hold a shit ton of weight. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of flex going on here. You can't bend that, you can't crimp it. It is made for a gun, and it is stiff as fuck. I would tell you, it's almost too stiff. Uh, not really, but it is very, very stiff. So you will not be sorry you got this. And this is about half the price of all the other styles, the Ares belts, the uh, special operations equipment, all those, SO Tech, I don't think they make the same style belt, but all of them, you know who I'm talking about. Just an awesome, awesome quality belt, and you can get this for 10% off if you use coupon code IDAV for more. It's really all I have. Oh, Rocco Tactical also has has uh, hex mags, awesome magazines for your AR. Um, but other than that, I just wanted to give a shout out to One Shot Industries again for giving me the t-shirts. Um, awesome quality t-shirts, I believe. I'm going to have to purchase some now, uh, especially if they come with this little nifty Velcro piece. So, One Shot Industries, give them a follow. Awesome stuff, guys, and buy some of the shirts, you won't be sorry. Um, that's all I have, so I'm just going to end it here, and uh, until next time, keep shooting.